Hey, this is Jennifer Mason. I am a SharePoint Server MVP, and this is a video series that we're working on that um, explains how you can set permissions in Office 365 and SharePoint Online. In this session, we're going to look at the concept of the limited access permission. So as you look through the site, you've probably seen where different users in your site have been granted limited access. However, it's not one of the options that you can set when you're setting permissions yourself. This is because there are certain site elements that are shared and that are common across the site. So a good one to think about um, is the site theme. So if I have a site theme, I have images, I have colors, I might have um, different components that people would need to have access if they wanted to view my content. So when I'm using the concept of custom permissions, even though I'm giving them access to the custom permissions, they also need to have access to those shared elements so that the page can render correctly. So when I give users access to, let's say, just a shared documents library, they still need to have access to something um, in the theme or something on the master page, something that's a common shared element. Whenever you use those custom permissions, SharePoint is going to use the permission value of limited access to set those permissions for you. So when you give users access to a specific location of content, SharePoint behind the scenes is going to give them the limited access permission to ensure that they have the correct permissions to properly render the pages when they try to access the content. So what we want to do now is we want to look at a demo of how that works. On our Visio Services site, this is just an example site that we're using, the first thing we want to do is we want to go in and look at our shared documents. And what I want to show you here is that when we click on the library and we click on the permissions icon, we're going to go to the page and we are going to see that the library has unique permissions. So the permissions that we have that are specifically unique here are marketing. This is the SharePoint group that I want you to pay attention to. So this group has read permissions on this document library. Now, when I go back up to the introduction to Visio sites, so I'm going to go back up to the home page and I'm going to go to site actions and I'm going to go to site settings. I'm going to click on site permissions and what you're going to see is that I have marketing and it's in the SharePoint limited access group. What you see here is that inside of the shared documents library, I gave the marketing group read access to my content. This is a group within the organization that needs to have access to read just those documents on my site. So I gave them read access at the library level and now at the site level they're showing up as having limited access. This is something that SharePoint is doing behind the scenes to ensure that when people from the marketing department go to access the link for the shared documents that they're able to see all of the content and have permissions to see all of the items that are needed for the page to render correctly. So you can see on my information bar, it's telling me that some content on this site has unique permissions which are not controlled from this page. So this is letting me know that, okay, some of my content has unique permissions, so I can click on this and it's going to show me what has unique permissions. So I see that shared document has unique permissions, and from here I can quickly click on it and I can go back to the previous screen where I was managing permissions for that document library, and I can see that marketing has been given permissions. So what you see is that when I add users to this level, they are given access to this level of the library, but then they're also given limited access on the site. If I go back to the page that I was using to manage the permissions for the entire site, and I try to grant permissions, so I'm going to click on grant permissions here, you'll see that limited access is not one of the permissions that I could set. This is a hidden permission level that can only be managed by the server, so it's not something that you would ever give anyone directly. So what you should realize is whenever you see limited access, it means that somewhere within your site unique permissions have been applied and in order for those unique permissions to render correctly when someone tries to access the content they have been given limited access so that they can have the correct permissions they need to properly render the SharePoint pages. In this quick demo we just explained the concept of limited access and showed you how that when you create a custom permission somewhere within the hierarchy of your site that users are also granted limited access access through um, SharePoint behind the scenes. SharePoint is going to give them limited access so that they can properly render the pages. If you have any questions about this, I'd love to hear them. You can reach me on my blog, which is listed below, and I look forward to chatting permissions with you in a future session. Thanks.